I'm going to get started. I'm using the Tool Trio. I've got gloves on my hands. These are water soluble products. I'm going to use a little small brush and you can use any type of brush you may have around your home. We have already given this a good 48 hours to dry well. That's the main thing. Once you paint, you're going to give it 48 hours to dry. Then we're going to put on three coats onto this. But we're going to wait three hours in between those coats. And that's going to give it good time to dry well before applying that other coat. So I'm going to go up here and seal the top. And this is important because this is going to catch a lot of dirt through the years. It's also going to be something that you're going to clean and wipe. So I'm going to brush on a real nice good coat of that. You don't have to take your faucet off. You can leave it. Also around the drain, want to be sure, and just paint around that. Don't want to paint the top coat sealer on top of that chrome. And I'm going to just brush on the top coat. And that's going to give me a good solid coating. And we'll just take it in small areas here. And then I'm going to run my roller right through that. And that's just going to prevent any brush marks and all that showing up. You can also use the true applicator. So thin coats. Thin, thin coats. Are coats. Key. Don't think about putting on a heavy coat here. This is a clear product, so it's kind of hard to see where you've been. So kind of the opposite of paint. You know, when we're putting on the paint, we're telling you do plenty liberal coats. So the opposite here. So you're going to put on thin coats here. Because you want it to dry. That's the main thing. You want it to be able to dry in between each layer. So make sure that I am paying attention to get every crevice of this sink, every angle of this back in the backsplash. We'll make sure to get a good coat on it. All right, so now I'm going to go into the bowl. Really going to concentrate where I'm at. going to make sure that I got it in this bowl extremely well. And look, real, really watch the coating here. What is she doing? Can't really see anything happening. <laughs> Putting on a clear coat. Not really super exciting, but definitely very necessary because the sink obviously is going to have a lot of standing water. And although the all-in-one paint has an exterior grade sealer built into it and it can definitely shed water, this needs some extra help because of the standing water and that's why we're using this water resistant sealer. So you gotta remember that rule of three. Three coats, three hours apart, three days before you use it. So make sure that when you start a pro one of these projects that you're able to do without that fixture for three days, whether that be your five shower. Days five days total because you're gonna paint it. That's gonna take you whatever time. You're gonna allow that to dry for 48 hours, then put on that top coat. So five days total that you can return back to use of that sink or shower. Like and follow for more great DIY tips.